guys should uh, write this down. Your IQ and your EQ. Your IQ and your EQ. Your IQ and your EQ. The number one fracture in leadership is when the IQ is higher than the EQ. The number one fracture in leadership is when the IQ is higher than the EQ. Your EQ grows when it's talking to your IQ. And when I say we have to get better, I can tell you where we have to get better. We have to get better on our EQ because it's the only way we're going to be able to connect with the kids that we're coaching. We don't need to get smarter. We got enough information. Our EQ has to be talking to our IQ. I'm going to answer your question, Coach Starkey. Write down the, it's an acronym. So on the far left, capital R, and then the next line, capital U, and then the next line, capital M as in Mary, and then the next line, capital I. And the R, it stands for recognize. And the U stands for understand. And the M stands for manage. And the I stands for influence. So uh, in like a, a 29 second teaching expose on EQ. EQ is that acronym. We have to recognize the emotion of who we're coaching. That includes yourself. We have to understand the emotion of who we're coaching. That means you have to understand your own. M, don't we spend a lot of time on M? We have to manage the emotions of who we're coaching, but that means we need to manage our own emotion. Ah, this is the most important one. This is where we're failing. This is where we are failing. Influence. That, that's EQ. That's EQ. Roomy, roomy, roomy.